continuing to pursue everything that I love about chasing the biggest wave of my life on day 393 of the big wave training with winter approaching very quickly. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We've been up doing a bit of stretching and we're going to go for a run, do some intervals, and I will see you guys shortly. today chest and arms and shoulders and I'm in the process again of reworking my fitness routine because I want to focus some days on heavy lifting some days on more like agility and powerful movements and some calisthenics uh, on top of like cardio whatever else I'm doing especially considering the waves are flat here in California got a lot done so far today it's pretty much worked on the computer for seven hours six to six and a half hours seven hours straight ouch balcony is an ocean view. That's incredible. I think one of the hardest pills that you'll ever have to swallow as a man is learning when to accept help from somebody else. When you're chasing everything that you have ever wanted to with the entirety of your being, sometimes you end up down a rabbit hole that you didn't really want to be going down, but you couldn't see. You might start to lose sight of who you are. You might start to lose sight of the things that you love. I just moved out from living with my grandma for the last year after I had no other option but to accept the help from her to have a place to live after some crazy life events had happened. And the biggest takeaway I have from that is that I should have asked for help sooner. It will probably go down as one of the most important lessons that I've ever learned in my entire life. It's easy to end up in a place where you feel like you are alone, but you never are. It's important to understand and learn that it's okay to ask for help and to accept the help when somebody is offering it to you, especially in a place where you really feel like you need it but aren't willing to accept it. And at the bottom of every deepest, darkest valley that you can find is a visual of a mountain that you have yet to summit. And let's be real, sleeping on the ground for a year ain't so bad when you finally move into a new spot and you've got an ocean view of the sunset. 
Like, are you kidding me? I've quite literally been dreaming of this for as long as I can remember. It's pretty damn close to being as good as actually being at the beach. Sorry to ask for help. You deserve it. 